Hi, I'm Brad with JJ Plumbing, and I'm here with Dave, who is in the process of remodeling his kitchen. Hi, Dave. Hi, Brad. So here's what I've got going on. I've got a leaking issue under my sink here. It's been driving me nuts for a while. I want to replace the old compression valves, and I was able to pull those off, but the ferrules now seem to be stuck on the pipe. Yeah. This is a classic problem. Plumbers see this a lot with older homes. Now, I could try to remove that ferrule and preserve your pipe. Would you recommend that? Doing that might damage the pipe. Mm. Now, you could open up the wall and cut the pipe, and you saw it on a new copper stub out, but then you gotta repair the wall, and that's pretty expensive. And some guys, they'll just attach a new valve and reuse that old nut and ferrule, but I don't recommend that. That's just running the risk of a compromised solution. The Accor push-on valve is much easier to install. It's far more reliable. Well, I've looked at both compression and push-fit valves, but what makes these different? Well, push-on is the only valve that solves this issue of a stuck-on ferrule. You can actually you know, install it right over that old valve's ferrule without any tools. And it won't leak? No, absolutely not. I've been using Accor products for 15 years in thousands of homes with no leaks or callbacks. Plus, they're completely lead-free. And they're made right here in the USA, and they come with a 10-year warranty on parts and labor. Wow, that sounds great. <laughs> okay, well, let's get started. Now, each push-on package comes with an discussion, a gauge, and a the valve with a factory-installed one-piece connector that eliminates leaks. Okay. Now, first thing you want to do, move the old discussion. You might need some needle nose pliers or some tin snips, but luckily this one just comes right off. Then you want to make sure your pipe is clean with no damage. You're going to go ahead and you want to push that old nut right back in the wall and take the discussion and slide it over the old brass ferrule until it's flush with the wall. Push on the gauge and slide it down until it bottoms out. This indicates that there's enough room on the pipe for a new valve. You want to mark the pipe then. Pushing on the valve. You turn clockwise from 9 to 12 o'clock. And once it's down to that mark you made, it's installed. Now, as you can see, the uh, valve isn't fixed in place. That makes it easy to adjust the position so the connector doesn't kink. To finish, you attach the connector to your sink, you hand tighten the nut, and you're done. Wow, that is simple. Yeah. And after it's installed, you pull on this handle to close it and just push it to reopen it. If you want to remove it, you just twist it off counterclockwise. And with this design, you can't accidentally engage a release mechanism. You have to you know, want to take it off. But you can reinstall it anytime by just following the original instructions. So I'm adding on to my bathrooms as well. Will these work in the rest of my house? Mm. Oh yeah. You can install this valve in your bathroom on the sink and toilet. A core also offers dishwasher kits, pipe repair kits, and test caps all in a variety of finishes. This system was made for both copper and CPVC pipes, which are the kind you'll find in older homes like this. But if you have PEX pipes in your home, you'll need the flow type for all system. It can accommodate the varying outer diameter of PEX pipes. No matter what kind of pipes you have in your home, a core valves with their patented push-on technology are the perfect solution. It's the only valve on the market that's both reliable and this is easy to use.